Much thanks to Gary from Reading for starting out these instructions. I'm going to try to do a clearer version with um, my video microscope. So here's my first attempt to remove the lens from the Raspberry Pi camera, and it ended in failure. I destroyed the sensor. But I'm going to do a second version, and I'm going to do it more neatly, and the results will work, because I already did it. So here is my X-Acto blade. I'm pulling it away from the connector cable, making sure I never draw towards the connector cable or have any chance of cutting it. And I'm just going to score the metal piece off the back of the lens. Now I'm going to actually shave the epoxy off of the connector and uh, just very carefully running my blade along the edge, removing epoxy from the, um, the connector. Once that's done, I can then peel it, but there are capacitors lining the sensor that are too close to the edge. There's only one edge that it can be peeled from. Now, the first take, I did this peeling with an X-Acto blade, and I sliced the connector. So the second time, I did it with my uh, fingernails, which I was able to force into one corner and around and get and actually peel the sensor loose. Um, it gave me the control necessary to do this delicately, although not to capture it very well on camera. But here it is, the sensor is clean and removed. Do this in a very clean space. Make sure not to get the sensor dirty and try to get the lens back on quickly. So now we actually have to pop the filter and the filter is easy to pop. Just stick an X-Acto blade down in the corner and just pop it right out. Then the sensor housing needs the lens reattached. And this is kind of tough because if you, you have to look carefully and notice that the lens assembly actually has a slightly thicker edge on the far side, on the right hand side. And that's going to be the, the, the outside of the sensor. You're going to have to take my word for it that this all worked. Um, it really did. I did get the sensor back up and working. But my glue job for the lens didn't hold very well. And when the lens fell off while I was capturing images, I reached over to put it back on, touched the sensor, and shorted it out. So that's it. <laughs>